Stephanie, her testimony was riveting at times as she nervously told the jury what she says happened over a number of years, both when she worked for McAllister here in Franklin County and later at the state capitol. These charges are serious. They have the potential to send the senator to prison for life. On opening day of Senator Norm McAllister's rape trial, his accuser took the witness stand. No video allowed of the ponytailed blonde woman, now 21, who is still in high school working on the Franklin County Senator's dairy farm when she says it all started. Eyeballing up and down, you know, how one person checks another person out. Like in court, she could barely eyes. look at McAllister across the room as she testified the 64-year-old lawmaker forced her to perform oral sex in his barn one day. Later, sexual intercourse at his farmhouse. She says there were no witnesses. She says she repeatedly told him to stop. It was rough enough. Rough enough for what? Like, grip-wise. I mean, my wrist is so, only so tiny. After he grabbed your wrist, what happened next? He was uh, pulling me up the stairs. And what were you doing while he was pulling you up the stairs? Holding on to that guardrail. By holding on to the guardrail, were you able to get away? No. But the defense picked apart her timeline, said she'd told different versions of the story under oath. In addition to all of the inconsistent evidence related to the sexual assault allegations, you'll learn that there was no physical evidence supporting the sexual assault allegations. There was no medical evidence to support the sexual assault allegations. There's no scientific or DNA evidence to support the allegations. And she'd agreed to work as McAllister's statehouse intern and volunteer on his 2014 re-election campaign, despite all she says happened. Prosecutors uh, say that the young accuser kept all of this secret because she was convinced even her own mother would not believe her until detectives knocked on her door just last summer when investigating unrelated sex allegations against Senator McAllister. Testimony has wrapped up for the day. On Thursday, she'll be back on the stand, followed by state police detectives and some of McAllister's colleagues from the State House as this sensational trial continues day two here in St. Albans. Stephanie?